Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. Are you worth that relationship? Whether it's a long-term one with your closest friends or maybe it's a brand new significant other that you're looking to attract. What about at work? Are you worth the raise or the sale? Or could it be uh, looking to volunteer? Uh, Are you worth what that organization is looking to have as a representative? How do you discover your worth without giving yourself away? That's what we're working on this week. But to start, we need to look at every time someone has found you unworthy. You didn't get the sale, you didn't get the raise, you didn't get the job, you didn't get the new relationship, you didn't get the friends who wanted to listen to your suggestions and do what you wanted to do. It was always focused on them. You got the family members that just wanted to take advantage of you. People will always find the time and the money for what they value. I'm going to repeat that again. People will always find the time for what they value. They will also find the money for it. So the reason why you had a challenge in that other relationship, personal or professional, was all based on a values conflict. They valued something that you did not. And that doesn't make either of you wrong, and and it doesn't mean either of you needs to be punished. It just says that, are you worth it? And if when someone has different values than what you have, how do you then experience it? Do, Do you go on a discovery and say, okay, what is it I need to do to find shared values so we can continue with this relationship with engagement? Or do you get entangled with their values, then letting go of your own, and you discount yourself? You, you do something you don't want to do, hoping that they're going to be in your life then. But when that happens, you treat yourself as a commodity because only commodities get discounted. You're treating your worth as if you were paper towels or toilet paper. And you attract what you are, not what you want. So what then happens is that you attract in people who only want you because they feel you're on sale. Mm. I'm going to give you an example of this. But before I do that, keep in mind there's a difference between engagement and entanglement. Engagement is when you know what it is that you value and you invite people into your world. And if they don't necessarily have the same values you do, then is there a way that you can come together on an agreed value? Okay, I said I was going to give you an example of this. Mom's coming up uh, sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas to spend some time with us. And I told her I'd take her on a little mini vacation while she was up here with me. And I invited some family members to go along. And they've all reached out to me and said, you know, it's the holidays. We don't have the time. We don't have the money. Because they have other values of where they're putting that time and that money. That's fine because I invited them not based on was I going to have a good time, 
whether or not they were going to go. No, I invited them because it was a fuller expression of me and who I am to say, hey, we're, we're going to have some enjoyment here. Would you like to come along? And they said, no. Okay, fine. Uh, then I reached out to some other family members and said, would you like to go? And they're like, yeah, because we have shared values with us. So the first group that told me no isn't wrong. They just have different values than I do. Now, let's, let's look at this a little bit further. I have um, some family members that have no showed me twice and ghosted me once on something we were supposed to be going and doing. Okay. Um, the no show, they just didn't show up, didn't find out until like the next day ghosting. They just never even got back. I offer engagement with me based on who I am. And I'm going, would you like to see if we can value having a good time with each other? But the level I offer is based on who they are. And so after three times, they've already shared with me that for whatever reason, they don't value that engagement with me. Now I can get all entangled and I can try to chase them and I I can make excuses for them. And we're going to be looking at that later on this week. But no, I don't feel a need to do that. Because I already know what I value about me. So the offers that I give them will no longer be the same as in the past because they've already shown me how they value those offers. Okay. So, oh, and let me say one other thing. There will be people in my world that'll go, oh, well, you didn't show up for this. And then you let us know at the last minute you couldn't be there for that. I know if they were to watch that video, that would be their reaction. Reactions are based on past pain. Responses are based on future impact. And they would be correct because there was something that came up that I valued more than what they had going on. They're right. Now, where we can have a challenge is that when someone does not meet our expectations, um, that we don't pursue it and go, okay, wow, what really must be going on in your world for this to happen? Because it was out of my character. That's something else. You know, the old adage, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. I typically give people three times. And then they tell me, they're telling me through their actions what it is that they already value. People tell us who they are all the time through their actions, but we don't listen to that. Okay, so yes, I've let people down. I didn't follow along with their values because there was something else that came up that I said is more important. And every conflict is a conflict of values. So we, we look at what can we do to re maybe repair or restore by looking at shared values. When, when we have someone that's let us down, then we, we have to take a look at what was our role in that? Did we continue to invite them in at that same level of engagement, knowing that they didn't value it? So to recap, by the way, if I can assist you with this, uh, where we begin to discover your worth, your value, your brilliance, and no longer being turned on by the drama of others, um, how to soothe yourself without self-sabotage, and then what we're actually working on this week, which is how to discover your worth without giving yourself away. If I can assist you with that, reach out to me, 1-636-699-7791. Let's have a consult and see if I am the right fit for you of uh, using coaching and hypnosis. 
where you're going to walk away with same day results. Okay, so let's recap. Number one, they will always find the time and or the money for what they value. Number two, are you worth it? Well, you have to discover what you value about yourself. Uh, And if you decide to discount who you are and become entangled with them, then they will treat you like a commodity. And number three, you offer engagement because of who you are, but the level you offer is based on who they are. Blessings on your brilliance. Go out and make the world a better place.